Here we are going to talk about the uh, potential at circumference of a non-conducting uniformly charged disc. And let's say we are given with a non-conducting disc of radius r having charge spread throughout its surface on its complete surface as uh, sigma coulomb per meter square. And we do all these charges, all these charges uniformly spread over its surface. We are required or we are supposed to find potential at this point. So, this disk is per charge is sigma coulomb per meter square. So, we have to do the potential at this point. So, this is what we will be doing is we will be taking a circular arc. On this disc. The element consideration is disc the complicated but otherwise you will not be able to solve this question easily. Right? So what I have done here is I have just taken a strip, a circular strip having radius r, a circular strip or you can say circular r of radius r. तो यहाँ से सेंटर मानते हुए आर रेडियस का मैंने एक सर्कुलर आर के चुनौती की है ये सर्कल ऐसा होगा मेरे ये सर्कल ऐसा ना होगा इसका ये आर है सर्कल ऐसा होगा इसका सेंटर ये वाला पॉइंट बना दिया है पी ऐसा कुछ आ गया सही है तो ऐसे ही किसी सर्कल का ही आर था ये सर्कल का आर की रेडियस में क्या है आ ये हमारा ओरिजिनल जो डिस्क है उसकी रेडियस है तो ये डायमीटर हो जाएगा तो आप इस टाइमिंग में देख सकते हैं ये आर दिया है मैंने दिस एंगल इस नाइंटी डिग्री बिकॉज़ डायमीटर पेरिफेरिक पर नाइंटी डिग्री एंगल बनाता है दिस एंगल इस टेकिंग टू बी थीटा सो बट वन एंगल विल आल्सो बी थीटा I have to just find the charge available on this strip as the point P. This point P is at distance R. This point P is, is at distance R from all the charges available on this R. You can see that. This is also R. This is this is also R. All these distances are just R. So what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to find the charge on this strip so that I can write the potential at this point P due to this strip as simply K Q if Q is the small Q is the charge of this strip then the potential at this point P will be K small Q by small R. Right? These are charges is K sare charges is R K sare charges R given in P function. So how will I find this charge Q? I will simply say, say that uh, I have to find the length of this R, which will be we know that theta is equal to R upon radius. So यहाँ पर जो हमें angle दिया हुआ है वो two theta है ऊपर से नीचे कर two theta है और वो two theta है तो R की जो length होगी वो two theta into R ये R की length है हमारे पास. तो इस तरीके से हमारे पास इसको बना लेना चाहिए. तो two R theta ये हमारे पास इस strip की length है. अब dr की और बात करें हम यहाँ पर dr dr ये वाली थिकनेस होगी इस स्ट्रिप की तो इस लेंथ को यदि हम इस स्ट्रिप की थिकनेस से यानी dr से मल्टीप्लाई करते हैं तो वी गेट दी एरिया ऑफ दी स्ट्रिप अब यहाँ पर मैं dr नेगेटिव लेने वाला हूँ क्यों लेने वाला हूँ डेट आई टेल यू अबाउट लेटर यहाँ पर हमारा एरिया हो गया so 2r theta dr dr की वैल्यू यहाँ से लिख सकते हैं हम लोग r is equal to 2r cos theta available हमारे पास तो dr by d theta is minus 2r cos theta का डिफरेंसिएशन इस minus sin theta से minus आया into d theta तो dr is minus 2r sin theta d theta right so if I replace the value of this dr in this expression then what I get is in place of this this minus is here this minus is here this minus is here and uh, here I have put the value of dr which is minus 2 r sin theta d theta. Now if I want to find the uh, charge of this strip, the strip of this area, then I will have to simply multiply this area with simply sigma. And I have done that. Sigma into 2 r theta 
atom base second. So theta will be the first and sin theta will be treated as the second function. So if I am given as first function, second function and their integration then what I will go to, uh, well, what I will have to do is uh, first function as this integration of second function minus whole integration whole integration of all these things which are whichever will be available here so I have to integrate all this thing with dx under this integration under this integration sign right so this integration sign is including this whole value dot dx so in this whole value I am writing differentiation of first function into integration of second function and to be I of Kurika integration so theta sin theta d theta theta is first sin theta is second then what I have to do is what I have to do is theta as it is and integration of sin theta is minus cos theta so this is minus and cos theta minus minus whole integration differentiation of first so differentiation of uh, theta will be 1 and differentiation of uh, integration of uh, sin theta will be minus cos theta this minus minus becomes plus so overall the integration becomes minus theta cos theta plus sin theta you can see here right now I have to just apply the limits 0 to 90 degree okay. uh, when I apply limit this is let's say pi by 2 when I apply limit pi by 2 minus of pi by 2 cos pi by 2 cos pi by 2 becomes 0 so this is 0 plus sin pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 minus minus of 0 cos 0 this term again becomes 0 and sin 0, sin 0 again becomes 0 so overall what I get is 1 so the value of whole integration is simply 1 so you can see that the value that I was getting as potential of this point P was 4k r sigma and integration y whose value is 1 so if I replace uh, k as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught then 4 will get cancelled with this 4 and uh, what I get is sigma r by epsilon and you have to remember this result because it is useful in a couple of cases and it is better to avoid this uh, lot of calculation by remembering this result so it can be used directly somewhere else okay.